let's go ahead and get everything sorted for the next seed. Clear splits. That really bumped the average down. Wow, took our average from 207 to 2. Almost too flat. We are still on averages, right? Yeah, okay, good. Clear the tracker. And load the next seed. Okay. Let's try not to throw this one away so super hard. <laughs> I don't know, what am I saying? Buck 41 is pretty good. I should be happy about that. I should be real happy about that. And I am. And I am. It could have been a PB, like a really solid PB. Could have been a sub 130. But hey, that's all right. That's all right. Maybe, maybe not tonight. Maybe not tonight. Okay, let's get rolling. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Bug net. Ooh, early bug net. Very early bug net. Not exactly something that I really super care about, but I guess it's something. It's no 300 rupees. That's what it's not. Yeah, for tree pull. How about some eight bombs again? Would be nice. Uh, fivers could be worse. Could be singles. His uncle got in his pockets. Another twenty. His last twenty from the strip club last night. I'm just gonna borrow this. I'll, I'll give it back in about two hours, Uncle. Okay? How's that sound? Oh, and a sword. Oh my goodness, that is almost a vanilla sword right there. Heck yeah. You know what? That's fine. That is fine. That makes up for the bug net being item number one. What about the church? Church has oh, a second sword. Holy shit. Man, what is this? The Crusades? <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Excellent start. It makes me a little nervous that uh, Egg of One is going to be required, but you know, we got a few other things that we need to grab before that becomes a thing. Like a lamp. I think lamp is pretty much the only thing at this point. Because I am not doing those Egg of Tower Dark Rooms. Mostly because I can't. <laughs> Get my butt kicked if I tried. Oh, dang it. Well, check your crab for that, I guess. Jack Ledge has a big old 20. Alright, so that's good. That doesn't guarantee Ega 1. And it also doesn't guarantee Ega 1 not required. So, doesn't really tell us much at this juncture. Oh wait, we can check this crap. What's it got? Uh, what is that? Singles? Pshaw. What we got over there? Oh, another single roof. Alright, well, there's one of the two. Big ol' heart container in Thieves' Den, okay. That's fine. That's an okay thing to find. Early on, especially. No bombs is unfortunate, so we're gonna go buy a pack before we make the rounds. Or check tavern first, I guess. Do this bottom to top. Piece of candy. Somebody was giving their heart away in that bar last night. Hmm, so early sword gives us front side escape. 
which is okay. It's three items and shit. Oh man, what a solid chicken throw. Yeah, all the way to the next room. Eat shit, chicken. Oh wow, hammer. Hello, hammer. Excellente. Well, glad I bought those bombs. My goodness, am I ever glad. The moon pearl? Holy shit. Fitty roofs. Kakariko turning out some pretty good value here. They're 20, that's right. Gives us enough for bottle vendor. enough even without that 20 after the well. Oh well. Yeah, baby's first shield. And a power glove? Holy shit. Alright. Well, we've got Dark World access immediately, I think. Pity Roops. Piece of candy. And a bee in a bottle. Alright, that takes care of Sick Kid, too. Holy shit. Yep, gives us Dark World access since we've already got the hammer. Excellent. Well, I think that means Ega 1 not required, so that's good and fine. That is real good and fine for us. Quake. A little rumbly bumbly in that bed, huh, kid? <laughs> hmm, alright, so... It opens up a lot, but I still want to kind of cover the standard light world garbage first. Library race game. Damn, mini moldorms. Ice rod cave, all that good shit. Nothing but bombs on the race game today. No, no lucky lucky lamp. gotten mirror in that big old set of things too we might have gone straight to dark world village of outcasts kind of wrap the rest of this into into the route oh oh oh, oh dang that eight popper which would have been worth it worth the five second walk around early on especially I guess we're doing fish rescue too well never mind Cave. There's a lamp. Excellent. Piece of candy. Big old 20. Another big old 20. And another big old 20. Alright, well. Lots of money. Lots of money and the value of the lamp. So, whatever. That, uh... Makes me kind of happy. <laughs> makes me kind of happy giving the lamp pretty early.
But Ice Rod Cave, though. All that for a fucking piece of heart, huh? Ooh. Alright, well, no mitts, so we can't do the south route. We could do escape yet. As much as I want to go into Dark World as soon as we can, I do not relish going into Dark World with five hearts. It's not a... not a solid plan. I should have done front side escape first. In case we got that key. Ah, eh, eh, there's the key. Okay, you know what? Let's go grab that chest, then. Nothing else of value. Check yet. What we got here? Then in crystal crystal. Okay, that's fair, I guess. Not quite the three crystal surprise we had last time, but that's alright. See. I want to see some value here, please. value I was hoping for. Something possibly good. Alright, well, against my better judgment, we're heading into Dark World. Five Hearts still isn't great or ideal or anything like that, but... 
Thieves Town is a crystal, we should be able to pull that one off somehow. Is that a golden bee? It is. Oh, we could have sold that for a hundred bucks. I guess we could still try that. Could still do that if we really need the money. Ouch. Hmm. We do actually have the gear to go get uh, Bumper Cave. Well, let's see what we can see. Assuming we don't die on the way there. So that's a real, very real possibility. But a big old 20. Alright, what are we dealing with here? Crystal, 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 pod, and ice are the pendants today. At five sixers at Thiefstown again, my goodness. Okay, well, not exactly ideal. Much prefer the ice mire pendants of the previous seed, but hey, whatever. Ain't gonna complain about that too much, I guess. Oh, there's a big three hundo. Okay, that gets us to Zora money, I think. Also a vanilla location for that three hundo, so whatever. It's such a weird hitbox on that explosion in particular. Not sure why it always does that. Big old 20 in the busted out shack. game, I guess. Alright, so not much of value there, so ooh, five hearts going into Thieves Town. This will be a bit of a a bit of a not probably great idea. We're gonna try it anyways. We've got the net, so if we find just a loose fairy floating around, we could grab some have a backup or something, but you know, I actually kind of wonder if a gold bee can hit blind for me. That'd be pretty rad. I try that. No, stop. Two hearts? Fuck off, man. Stupid dragon head bullshit asshole. Out of here. Busy bams. And a small key. Oh, hey, ah, oh, oh, I should have probably captured that one instead of uh, <laughs> instead of just nomming down on it. Oh well, I guess it's fine. Ow, stop it, Bucko! Second time I got sniped by one of them. Butt munches. Son of a bitch. Ow. Oh, 
Well, I guess the good news is we've got the hammer, so we can full clear this if the item is in the big chest. <laughs> Fucko's the name of the only clown available when you wait to book at the last minute. Aw, oh, poor Fucko the clown. I mean, there's probably a reason he's the, the clown of last resort, you know? Swamp on the table early if we get a uh, hook shot in the mirror. Ow, oh, fuck. Ugh, this is gonna be a little bit dicey. I don't have a lot of health, and I don't have enough magic for good coward strats. Well, never mind, there's the magic portion. How about some health, though? Fucking snipe! Get the hell out of here with that! Oh, hello. Uh, all right. Got to do the maybe the smart boy thing. Oh, there's some silvers. Precious metals are with us once again. Okay. Man, Thieves Town has some has the value. blue potion. Some blue goo. That's actually really fucking awesome. Another safety item. Ow. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> don't burn that fairy super early, please. Thank you. My goodness. Alright, we can do phase one without burning a safety item or or going coward strats, but we will definitely need coward strats for two and three. Oh, fucking. Well, there's our fairy. That technically was the end of phase one, so I was still right. Had my finger on the cape button just in case. <laughs> There's the burrito. Blind was hungry. All right, first crystal at 23. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, uh, skull is also a crystal, but we can't do anything with it yet. Look like there's much we can do. Not many high density areas, except possibly Zora. Ouch. Uh, we checked a uh, bumper cave, right? Yeah, that was dumb bullshit. Oh, we don't have. We're well, depending on what we dig up, we might have to get enough money to go back to Zora now. I 
actually kind of do want to get some money back, so. How about something better than singles, though? What the hell are, like, the bulk of 20s that I always fucking dig up here? There's one. How about another one? How about another one? Thank you. Just enough for Zora, that's fine. Literacy. You know what? That's okay. That gets us into swamp. Not into swamp. That gets us into uh, desert. The possibility of being able to complete it depending on what's on the torch. Those dudes do two at a fucking crack? Are you serious? Oh, eat my ass. Stupid. <laughs> I was about to say something really bad. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't. Stupid assholes, dang it. Well, good thing there's a portal just right here, so we're not skipping, uh... We're not skipping hype cave here. Hitting asshole. A butt munch. Oops. Well, there's a fiver there. Not a great start to hype cave. <laughs> what else we got? The other single group. Ten arrows that we can't use. A three hundo. Wow, okay. And a bomb cap. Alright, well, that was a shitty hype cave. Just gonna come out and say it right away. Alright, well, I think uh, Pyramid and the Catfish, and then we'll... Probably head up to Zora or something. Mirror at Catfish would be really great. That would be the best, in fact. The mirror out, do all the Zora checks and shit like that. But that might be uh, asking for a bit much. good. Oh shit! Tempered Sword! Hell yeah! Pyramid comes through. Pyramid comes through with the value. So no spin strats and no silverless. No silverless. Fucking excellent. Hit? Oh man, that dude would have hit me again. Been very unhappy. So where do we go after this? I think we go down and hit, or not go down, rather. We go back to Light World, hit Zora, since that's a cluster of four. Well, plus Hobo, I suppose, would make it five. Eh? Eh. <laughs> Don't even want it.
if I keep going? There's no ledge there, right? I'm gonna have to swim around. So what do we got on the island? Nothing but a big old 20 on the island. Well, that's fucking worthless. Alright, Hobo, you get better have something better than a single root for us this time. The bow! Shit, son! There is some value. That puts Eastern square on the table for us. Fucking excellent. Hmm. That might be our next play, I think, because that'll be a good six cluster of items over there, plus the hash rush 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 kind of light on the health, so I'm okay seeing, like, health items and shit now. The ledge there, just 50 roots. King Ripoff himself. What do you think he's got for us? Bomb cap. Fuck. Couldn't S and Q out fast enough. All right. Well, that's bogus. Let's go get us another crystal. Since that is a thing we can do now with the bow. back room. Our container is candy. 300 groups. All right, well, see you later, shitlord. Stole your pension. Get out of here. Come get me if you want it back. But we're good for roops now. We need to buy some backup potions or what have yous. me a little bit that pod is a pendant just considering the sheer density of items there pod and ice both being a pendant is kind of shitty Nice. 
Easy fucking peasy. Two for two on that room. Do we have the big key yet? We don't. It's gonna be in vanilla spot then. I thought this was Rendo. <laughs> It's the big key! As expected! Right where it should be! Just in case. No, we're not gonna need it for a bit. Take that extra couple seconds to grab it. I don't have any powder to make my own. Gotta take all the free floating ones we can get. Oh, I think I forgot to check off an item, but I guess that's fine. There's crystal number two and the other five sixer. <laughs> First two are the two five sixers, just like last seed. How about that? Okay, uh, where are we headed? We could go down to the desert. We can get in. We can do what we need to do. And here's hoping that uh, we can complete it to get the third crystal. But, we never know, so it'll depend on what's on the torch. But at the very least, we should be able to get at least one item. Check Desert Ledge and Agena, so... Could cluster three items in the, in the immediate vicinity. All right, old man, what you got here? Oh, shit! There's a good-ass mirror. And that gets us up to Death Mountain. <laughs> Excellente. Thanks, Agina. See you later, shitbag. Find some other way to fix your hair in the morning, I guess. Okay, well, that opens up a few things now. Candy on the ledge. Eh, we're probably past going for those now. Yeah. 
Mm. Set. It opens up Swamp, but it doesn't get us everything in Swamp because we're missing the hook shot yet. Alright, check the torch first to see if we should even bother with this. Oh, good. Compass on the torch. Excellent. That's perfect. Now we can finish off desert without any problems whatsoever. <laughs> this is such a weird and funky song. I love it. It's the best. Wait, I do have a fire source, right? Yeah, okay, I've got the land. Like, whew! A little scared again for no reason. Perfect our one cycle land mo here. So we don't get bodied by one of the rocks, shoved out of position. God damn it! Happened again. Oh, oh, hut! Ow! Oh. <laughs> Dang it! I'm always getting bodied by that fucking single ass rock, just beaming right towards my face. Shit bag. All right, bomb. Visit Bams and Crystal number three. Nice. Is that con How do you consider that a gold split when you're looking at averages? That seems weird to me. Maybe it's still going against uh, the besties for that. All right, let's see what we got. Up the mountain. Up of the mountain since we've got to the mirror and at the hammer. We have to go there the long way though since no flute. Don't tell me this is going to be a, a second fluteless seed. That would be dumb. That would be dumb and silly.
Man, the old man gave us 300 last time. Aw, oh, just 20 this time, huh? No bonus for frequent visitors? What a shit. Frequent rescuers. Frequent rescuer miles or some bullshit like that. Just a big old 20. Stingy bastard. Got up top there. Big old 20 up top spec rock. What about inside? Eh? He's candy. Alright, so unfortunately we're going to have to take the long way around for east side, but at least we can get there. Uh, no, 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 Jesus, no, fuck. No, get, 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 no, stop. Just fucking shut up. Wasting time. You're wasting my time, man. Stupid bouncing ball ass bullshit ass fucker. Oh, but we do have literacy, so we can get ether tab. The powers of being able to read. Gets you cool shit. PSA, stay in school, kids. Learn how to read so you too can get a big ass heart from the sky. Okay, Hera is. Hera's a pendant. It does have two items, so let's just take a quickie peek inside it. See what we can see. It's quick enough such that we should be able to get at least one item out of it. Even if we have to full clear and kill Moldorm or whatever. Of course. Ugh, maybe this isn't worth it. We do have the big key, obviously, so here's hoping that we can get both items before having to pay Moldorm a visit. Because fuck Moldorm. Bad news is we don't have boots or hook shots, so this is either bomb jump or doing the slow ass way. Bomb jump it is. <laughs> That'll do it. Ah! One pixel too low. Alright, fuck it. We're doing it the normal ass way then. <coughs> Oof. At least I was of the mind to switch the hole so we didn't do a double fall there. This means Moldorm will have the last item, huh? Dang it. That's dumb. That still hits me on my way down. What a shit. 50 rupees! I mean, the trouble with Rando is that this could be literally anything. Well, not literally anything, but it could be something of, of great value. 
So if I were to skip it, and it turns out it's something I need to beat the game, well... That's fucking stupid. That's fucking dumb and stupid, and I wasted a bunch of time. But if it turns out to be trash, I've also wasted a bunch of time in trying to come up here and get it. Eat a shit, Muldorm. Let's see what we got. Waste of time or no? Waste of time. Excellent. Great. Perfect. Well, we're one step closer to MSP if it turns out to be necessary, and I hope it doesn't. Because fuck every MSP seed in existence. But hey, at least that was like maybe four minutes, five minutes spent trying to see if that was something of value. Not a terrible loss. We got up there. Ooh, ice rod on the island. At least we know where it is. Even if we can't get it yet. Uh, this song is silly too, but I love it. Let's see what happens. All right, Spiral Cave. Big old fiver, thanks. Thanks. Needed that five bucks. But there's another seven, so whatever. That fucking wow! He's doing. This dude's doing three at a crack there. Fucking red tectites. Uh, I think the right one for this, right? Yeah, nice. Jesus. That's right, I've only got green mail still. <laughs> I had blue mail at this point last time. Candy. Busy bams. Piece of candy. Big old 20 and bomb, 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 bobos. Some 10 arrows, arrow cap up. Great. Wait, do I, do I have all three of them? I do. Shit, son. All right. Well, we're set for anything that Meyer chooses to have. Ah, crap. Ba -da -boom, ba -da -da -boom. We'll try it again. Alright, I do... Actually, what am I doing? What am I doing? I want to go check Spike Cave, since we're kind of up here and all. If I'm going to do that, I may as well just have some queue out to old man and do the business from here. Alright, let's see, what do we got? We got the cape, which should get us through, I think. Big ass knife in the ground. Gonna hurt you. I think we should have enough health and or magic to get through here. So we're gonna do this. Yeah, alright, that should be good. Value? No value. No value whatsoever. Dumb bullshit. All right, what's next here? I guess pod is the highest concentration. God damn it! I really hate going to pod when it's not a crystal, though. <laughs> here I come, baby, the hero of the ages. All right. Give a a poke with I guess since we're on the way, may as well do double chested fairy. This goddamn forest. 
to the left here. To the left here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this is so dumb. It's so dumb and I love it. Options here. I mean, I no, that's not true. We're not running out of options. We're running out of like item dense options. Hopefully, the pod play is the best we got right now. They really don't want to go in the swamp without this hook shot, especially if we're gonna have to full clear the fucking thing, anyways. His double dipping swamp is probably one of the worst things you can do. I mean, aside from double dipping T Rock, I suppose. So, at the very least, we'll be able to full clear pod. We've got the mirror, so that makes it just a touch faster. Oh shit! There's the mitts and free hundo. Oh, the mitts gets us into ice. And also gets us a whole bunch of other things. And it gets us part of Death Mountain. Dark side Death Mountain. Ah, it doesn't get us enough, really. It doesn't get us enough to uh, not go to pod. But hey, it's a good thing I did double chest at Fairy. That's, that was a good call. That was the right call. Not just, uh, not just right and correct, but it was a good call. <laughs> or it's, they're two very different things sometimes. It could be the right call numbers wise, but it might not end up being a good call. So here we are in pod again, but it's pendant, so I hope it's not a waste of time. There better be a progressive item in here. Somewheres. Make this all worthwhile. Five items at our disposal, that's uh, a good possibility. Not guaranteed, though. Certainly not guaranteed. Ouch. Get the f*** out of my way, man. being a small key as well. It's a small key! Shit. Uh, it almost always happens. Almost always. Get out of my way, fucker. Go 
Rico's next play after this is either Swamp or Vanilla Big Key game, I figure. Either Swamp or the rest of the Dark World uh, run around. Zero of the five items as of yet, so we got a good chance of scoring something sweet soon. Well, not exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> Fetch quest garbage, but hey, it's something. I have the big key, right? And it makes more sense to do this side first. Ow, stop it with the fire. Bags. The gas heart, okay. Burying a bottle, all right. It's reducing our probability of finding something cool in here drastically. Small keys means oh, there's one shield again. Probably means that that hallway will not be necessary unless both of these are small keys. All right, good. That it really matters much. I don't think it's going to save me any time by avoiding it. It might actually just be faster to go down through there. No, I know this is going to be a small key. Rather than going around. Although I suppose I could have mirrored out too, but I don't think that's any faster. Ow. Oh, dudes do two damage? Fuck you. Eh. Yeah, eat it. <laughs> I, th I didn't think the arrows would work on that dude. Oh, I don't have the I don't have the pocket key in Samaria. Oof. I grab a little bit of health because I don't want to burn a backup fairy unnecessarily here. All right, so the likelihood of this being the right play is pretty fucking low, considering how much time we burn to get items of not great value. So, we should probably decide on our next play, then. Either, um... Either Dark World Overworld, or Swamp. Swamp is probably the quicker play, right now. Even if we can't complete it. For the simple fact that there's six items in there, and I think there's... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, all right, seven overworld items we could get to. Eight, I suppose, if you count the, oopsie. If you count the ice rod up on the island. Ow. No, no, what the? Death fairies. Death fairies for a reason.
so, depending on the item that uh, good old Helmosaur drops here, we'll determine our next move, I believe. If it's Hookshot, it should be really shitty, kind of. But also awesome at the same time. Definitely looking at Swamp. If it's not, we're probably still going to Swamp. Is that not right? Nope, one more. That's also <laughs> pendant number two, which sucks, but hey, whatever. Maybe MSP is required and, you know, whatever. Nope! That was a big old worthless waste of time. Ah, shit. Yeah, I guess Swamp. I guess Swamp is the play now, but... It doesn't feel good not having the hook shot. Here's hoping that we find Hookshot itself inside Swamp, but... Yeah. Six items is a lot of items. Oops, what am I doing? Drain the water first, idiot. So we got six chances of finding Hookshot here. Well, probably more like four. Since there's one, two, three, four possible in the back half. That we can't get to without hookshot. So really, we're looking at maybe three guaranteed that we can get to. Oh, boots. Uh, what are those? That's good, but <laughs> not quite what I needed. Oh, I don't have a key. Uh, oh, right. Let's say, can I even do this without a key? I can. I need to get this key first. Huh. All right. Well, boots are good. They're nice. That does get us the first item in Hookshot Cave. Let's 
well as Bonk Rocks and the King's Tooth. So, it may turn out that going to Swamp was the correct play. So, two chances left here for items. They could very well both be like the burrito and the compass. It would be the worst possible ones, so really you're only guaranteed two items at best. And the front side, well, I guess three. No, only two, never mind. In the front half of Swamp. If you get really unlucky with the distribution of them. I guess that's good news. Maybe. Still puts two items on the table, but... Still no guarantee of, uh, being able to finish this all in one go. Unless we get super lucky and hook shots up here. <laughs> chance at the big chest then. Which would be vanilla hookshot, which would make me question if this was truly rando. Again. But it's always possible. It's not today. Good old burrito. But well, good news is we can check this Bambos tablet while we're here. I guess. Eh. Oh, that was Saint card too. All right. Well. Kind of doing this a little backwards. Usually, I like to have the purple chest with me so we can do both at once. But. Uh... quite how I was hoping. Oh, Fire Rod! That puts uh, Skull Woods firmly within our grasp. Excellent, that's another Crystal Dungeon. Okay, well, we'll finish our kind of initial run around here, then we'll go straight for it. Wait, I wonder, could we, in theory, I've got an idea. It's not a great idea, but it's an idea. I've got an idea to take the purple chest up there and just leave it outside the main portion of it <laughs> and pick it up on our way out and see if that works. Since this run is already pretty much dead, may as well try some new shit. Okay. 
You know, I almost wonder if I could take the chest all the way around to everything. Nice, Jesus. Full mid-game health here. You can take the purple chest around at pretty much everywhere. Like Bonk Rocks and King's Tomb. Cave of Up Graveyard. Like that would probably be the best, right? We've already got it with us. Might as well just kind of hang on to everything. And granted, we can't use the boots while we've got it on us, but meh. Small price to pay instead of going back. When we're done taking out the north side there, we can S and Q out to house and we have Gary open it up for us. Huh. You know, actually, I wonder if I can fall down with this thing. Will it still follow me? Yeah, only one way to find out. Yeah, it's still with me. Interesting. I think I recall that you can't take it into the back half of Skullwoods, though. It will voice its displeasure about that plan. I could leave it in a room. Can I just come back for it? I guess I probably shouldn't try that. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to bomb jump this since I don't have the hook shot to get across. All right. Well, I've got certainly got the health for it now. That should do it, I think. Nice first try. Like uh, an actual legit first try. Worth it. Hmm. Suppose we could do a, a quick ped check too while we're here. Ah, uh, like that, huh? All right. So if I leave you here, and I come back out. Are you still gonna be there waiting for me? Yep, okay, good. But I think if I uh, mirror out and do a ped check, it's not gonna like that. It's probably gonna fuck off then. It's double kill. Double kill. Mm, so I wonder if I should not even do a ped check. No, fuck off, man. Stupid ass Wallmaster. Ah. Ah, oh, couldn't get the double kill again. What a shit. So I'm kind of curious if I'll, I'll be able to see this now. Eh. I don't know if it's still over there. I guess we'll see. It doesn't really matter if I have to go get it again. Just figured it'd be something fun to try. We have one backup fairy, and a, I don't know what's in the third bottle. Oh, 
Oh, okay, let's not swing your sword like I told you to. That's cool, I guess. Alright, well now I know... Since I know that those dudes will die instantly with ether. Wow, that was a fucking sick Motula fight. Eat shit. Uh, all for a big 20. But it does give us crystal number 4, so whatever. Alright, I think I will do a ped check just because we're up here. There's no guarantee that chest will still be there when we get back. When in Rome, you know? Alright, so now we get to see if that chest will still be waiting for us. Even after doing the whole boss fight, warping back to Light World to check pedestal. Lots of shit happened between then and now. Eh? Nope, it is gone. It fucked off. Which is not all that surprising. So now what? I guess, uh... Some of the light world hoopla. Really hate to go into uh, Ice Palace if we can avoid it. But considering how dumbly this scene has gone so far... Case in point. Wouldn't put it past putting something important. Nice pellets. us over to Meyer. Also inside Meyer. Doesn't let us complete Meyer because we need some armor. mushroom anyways. Finally get us some fast travel up in here.
think Hookshot and Samaria are the two things holding us back from go mode. We know where the ice rod is. It's all up on floating island in the mountains. I guess we'll grab purple chest now. We'll do the last kind of one-off bullshit that we can. Since we've already kind of gotten the rest of it along the path, loot on down and do it. All right, Gary, what'd you pack for lunch today? Bombs. All right, well, good luck with that. Samar oh, we need Samaria yet. I was wondering. I thought there was at least one more item. Yeah. Well, no Samaria keeps us out of T-Rock for now. A fourth bottle. Interesting. And a big old one. I really don't want to go into Mario without Samaria, please. That would be dumb. Leaves three up on Death Mountain, the Super Bunny Cave, and the first thing in Hookshot Cave. That leaves three in Ice, and two in Mire. One of which might not even be accessible. Oh, whoopsie. I can't go this way. <laughs> what am I thinking? I can't go that way. Derp. Girls. I've had this happen before, but if Hookshot is in that first uh, first chest in Hookshot Cave, that would be kind of dumb as well. <laughs> Although it would kind of accelerate things for us. And squirrel, get out of my way, asshole. Really? We'll unlock T Rock while we're up here. Get out of the way! Get out the fucking way! Shitbag! Ugh! I 
wonder if you could technically beat T-Rock without hookshot. I think you could. I think you could. Alright, well here, let's place your bets. What are we gonna have in this one? The only one that we can get to. Ah, oh, damn. I was kind of hoping that was hookshot. <laughs> that would just be perfect. That doesn't get us access to anything else. But I guess it's good to have. Samaria. That gets us into T Rock. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I mean, I guess we're up here. We may as well do it. It's a lot of items. And, well, it's a good thing we unlocked it, I suppose. It saves us a bit of time. Alright, fine. We'll do T Rock with fucking green mail. <laughs> And then we can go do, uh, go do Meyer right away as well. So I guess that unlocks two of them for us. Gets us a few places. Oh, gets us a Mimic Cave too, yeah. So I guess six items up here while we're going through T-Rock. Hopefully one of which is the, uh, hook shot. And half magic ain't bad either. Won't complain about half magic. I'll have to do this the long way since I don't have hookshot to in quick quick pop off the uh, platform. All right. Well, I guess hookshot is the last item that we need, huh? Oh, shit, that might have been a poor choice as well. So we'll see. Go. Go, 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 go. No! Oh, fuck. Well. All right. <laughs> I think I fucked that up on my own. Yeah, hookshot is definitely the last item we need for go mode. So we're not really going to any other out-of-the-way places, I suppose. Unless Batman's got it. It would probably be the furthest away for us. Ouch. Other than that, I think everything else is pretty well covered. Suppose the hash could technically still have it. It could still be an ice rod, or not ice rod. It could still be an ice palace. That might be worst case. But between T Rock and Mimic Cave and Meyer, there's a good chance that we'll find it anyways. Oh, we gotta be careful around these guys. Don't they do like four to crack with only? Uh... Yeah, they sure do. <laughs> With only the green males. Oof. 
I don't have powder to get me any more backup fairies, so I think I've got the one and that's it, huh? Or wait, no, I caught an... Now let's check, just to be sure. Alright, we've got two fairies and a blue potion. That's not bad. Ouch. That's a goodly amount of backup. Zap. <laughs> Barely squeaked on through. Get over here, shit ass. Dang it, wishful thinking. some powder. I think that puts Batman on the table. Sure does. Also gives us some good backup strats. Wow. Dudes do three damage on their own? Shit. Now there's the big ass shield. on one of these fire bars, I think. Maybe not this one, but certainly the next one, unless I wait for like a hot second here. Then go. Oh, and then I'm gonna eat it on that one anyway. So, Alright, whatever. That's what the fairies are for. Still two items here in T-Rock. What can we do with it? Ouch. Well, there's one of them. And there's the other one. Well, fuck me. Alright, I just want to make sure. I don't trust my item count sometimes. not to eat the other fairy if we can't avoid it? Yeah, alright.
hell was that? Hey! Stand still, you fucko. Oh, how I got bounced back off his shell there. Gives us another crystal, but it's a lot of time coming to do that. They were both ether that time again, weren't they? Not that it matters, because I had all three medallions, but... Interesting to see the one in six chance that that happens. Certainly ain't gonna be a sub two, which sucks. It's fucking tanking my average yet again. Hey, the arrow of destiny. There's one of them. Shit. Well, it's looking more and more like ice will have the hook shot in it. Which sucks! I like having hook shot for ice. Hmm. Oh, 
This probably has to be Big Key. No, no, it doesn't have to be. Ah, shit. Would have preferred if it was. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter. I'm still looking for that last item anyways. So long since I've done an actual vanilla playthrough of this, I don't remember most of it. Hey, small keys for days. All right, well, Vitreus has got the final item then. Doesn't matter since they're gonna kill him anyways, but still kind of annoying. Ooh, speaking of Vitreus, we're gonna have to be a little bit careful in that fight. So I think each eyeball will do four, four hearts at a crack. Very dangerous. But we've got silvers, so it doesn't really matter that much. At least this will be a simple, easy fight. Eat shit, Vitreus. <laughs> and all for a the hook shot. Last fucking chance, and we get it. All right, that is go mode. Finally. Got to finish up Swamp, head on up for G Tower. All right, okay, so we didn't, didn't need to go into ice at all. Great. <laughs> good, 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 good. It's just a damn shame we full cleared pod because that wasn't necessary. salvage this into a sub 2 but it should at least be a pretty low 2 be a 203 204 depending on how tricky dicky that G tower big key is
this one on our way through maybe we'll, we'll get lucky and it'll be mail upgrade would actually be pretty good oh it's candy yeah we fill i suppose dang it maybe vitreous will have a blue mail for us something to help us because my goodness we've been on green mail for buck 52 here Still a shit ass. First try. Ah, ten arrows for our trouble. Well, there's crystal number seven at least. Bim boom bam. Yeah, there's no way we're turning this into a sub two. With only six minutes left. Nope, 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 nope. Oh wait, actually, mirror first, please. Derp, derp, derp. Get out of the way, you fucking squirrels. Ugh. The worst. The worst enemy. Place your bets, 1 through 22. Where's that big key gonna be this time? Another low single digit number would be great. Make me feel a bit better about this, but literally be anywhere. Here's one and two. Small ass key. Big ol' 20. Number three on the torch coming up. Pia! Another small key. We'll grab that. Keys for days, of course. Keys for days. Four through seven coming up, y'all. Number four, blue mail. Hey, we'll take that. Number five, the butter sword. Excellent. Number six, and number seven is a small ass key. Well, two very awesome upgrades in here at the very least. Butter and blue mail. Oh, well, <laughs> I 
nice. That's just number eight now. Number eight. Hey, number eight. Gets it. Excellent. Single digit number. That's probably the best I could hope for there. Pretty reasonable uh, against our big keys tonight. Got that going for us. Dude, get hit. Get hit, you shit. Looks like I bopped around a bunch. Ah, it's off center again. Damn it, why do I always get it on that ledge? It's the most ridiculous garbage I've ever seen. The one or two pixels that you can land on there. Always, without fail. Alright, validation chest and then that'll be it. Get red mail here, huh? Uh, only ten bombs. Ten busy to bands. Ah well. Ah. 
double there. Ah, you shit ass. Alright, one more. Well, depending on this Ganon, how this Ganon fight goes, I might be spot on with my earlier prediction. Might be a 205. Most likely not, considering I've only got tempered, but... Maybe a low 205. Possibly a 206. Although, we do have butter. We do have butter this time around, so it should be just a touch quicker than before. Was that a quote from Faces of Evil there? That's fucking hilarious. I love it, kind of. But also, I hate it. What? Fuck it. Oh wow, this is phase three already, huh? smooth phase there. I did find the arrows in Thieves Town. Thank you, you little shit. Nice. Got the, the quick shot and the torch glitch. Awesome. Oh, I missed him there. Nice double. Excellent. Fucking excellent fight. That'll keep it at a sub 205. <laughs> nice. Real nice, right there. Hell yeah. Okay. Not bad. Not bad for how much that uh, seed dicked us around in the mid game there. 20439. Alright, prepare to fast forward. Hmm. So we got two golds in there. What the hell does that actually mean when comparing against average? I guess it's just best for that segment, huh? Okay. So clearly much worse than our first run tonight, but otherwise not too terribly bad. What the hell does balanced PB mean? I don't know what half these things mean. Versus worse segments? Well, I sure hope so. Median average? What's versus the median? Huh. For average, though. Well, it makes more sense as average. Okay, 204.39. Tired. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done the second one. Live and learn. And sometimes live without learning, because that happens too. Let's roll, we'll check out the stats, and then we'll be done for this eve. This wonderful eve. This good Saturday eve. Look the storm tonight. Maybe it, maybe it decided not to. What I should do is probably try to fix this fucking thing. are starting to come off, getting to be a bit of a mess. 
so much for a $150 premium controller. Grip starts falling off. Quality, I'm gonna guess made in China. Yep, made in China. Go figure. Thanks, Microsoft. Not to say that stuff made in China is shitty, but by and large, some of the stuff is very cheaply made. I think this is another zero death run, which is pretty good for me. Two zero deaths in a single evening. This also wasn't too far off a of sub two. If I hadn't dunked into pod, it certainly would have been. But I mean, based on the density of items in pod, that was probably the correct play, if not the right and good play. Win some, lose some. Well, win some, lose most. More accurate. Uh, 204.39. Eh, alright. We'll take that shit. Okay, that's it for tonight. Next stream will be tomorrow night, 7 p.m. CDT. We'll be on Assault Android Cactus Speedrun Practice. And then we'll be back to Cave Blazers on Monday night, 7 p.m. CDT. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.